In my series of videos on probability theory, we've already covered events, sample spaces, multiple observations, and combinatorics. This video now features four exercises, some using paper and pencil, some using Python code, to test and cement your understanding of the concepts covered so far. All right, so our first exercise is, what is the probability of drawing the ace of spades twice in a row? And here you assume that any card drawn on the first draw will be put back in the deck before the second draw. So key piece of information there for getting your probabilities just right. Our second exercise involves you drawing a card from a deck of cards. And now, after replacing the drawn card back in the deck and shuffling thoroughly, what is the probability of drawing the exact same card again? For exercise three, let's use the n choose k formula that we introduced in the preceding video to calculate the probability of throwing three heads in five coin tosses. And then finally, let's create a Python method that solves exercise three and incorporates the n choose k formula. So with this method in hand, you can then calculate the probability of, in five tosses, throwing each of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 heads. You should be able to do that in a for loop using the Python method that you created. There's not one exact way to do question four, but I'd like you to come up with some method that can solve exercise three using the n choose k formula and then be able to have this for loop in it as well. All right, so for exercise one, the probability comes out to about 0.04. It comes out to 0.037 to be more specific. For exercise two, the probability comes out to 0.02. For exercise three, the probability comes out to 0.3125. And then for exercise four, there's lots of different ways to do it, but here is one way that I did it. Uh, so I imported the factorial method so that I didn't have to recreate that. Then I used it in a method that incorporates the n choose k formula that we talked about. And then I use a list comprehension to iterate over the range of zero to six. Um, so we have one specific answer here. This replicates the answer from exercise three, but now in code. And then this one, it does also replicate exercise three as well as the other range of possibilities for our number of coin flips. Sweet, hope you enjoyed those exercises. Up next, we'll continue onward with some more fundamental probability concepts you've gotta know for machine learning. And I should add that if you'd happen to like a more detailed walkthrough of the solutions to all the exercises in this video, you can check out my Mathematical Foundations of Machine Learning course on Udemy.